So a couple changes. Um, before, when I would open the uh, needed damper, one of the dampers opened, then I would simply uh, set that relay high, uh, or that output high, uh, to, to activate the relay, to open the damper, wait the 30 or 35 seconds that it takes for the damper to open, and then like close the other one if necessary, or wait that and then turn the fan on so that we always had a damper open uh, before the fan was turned on. So um, rather than doing that, two reasons, I guess. One is to eliminate having to use that delay. Um, and then the second is so I actually have a means to know if the damper is open or closed. Um, I added in these uh, reed switches and um, the actual switch reed switch is just that last gold part uh, that's just sticking out from this threaded rod. This is just like I don't know, lamp rod or whatever you want to call it. Um, and the, the actual reed switch is just uh, hot glued in there. You can kind of see some of the, uh, the hot glue poking out on the wires there. Um, and then this one, uh, this is the um, the inside damper, just goes to that block, which is actually just connected, uh, jumpered across to that block, and then is jumpered across over to here, and then these are the outputs. Don't ask me why I didn't just make one ground wire, but anyway, I made two separate ones, and then it goes through this um, cat five which then eventually goes into here and then into the Arduino. So what happens is, as I'm sure you've gathered by now, is that when the... Now, these reed switches are cool because they actually they'll, they'll, they'll activate either with a magnet or uh, if there's a ferrous uh, metal that comes uh, comes near it, comes, comes within its range. Um, and so what happens is, is and you, there's a click, and it's pretty audible, but I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not. Anyway, um, so when that opens, then it trips that read switch, obviously sends a sends that output. Um, in this case, I'm looking for the low output because I'm using the internal resistors. And then I know that the dampers are either opened or closed and so I can use that because like the fan is easy to tell because I'll be able to feel if it's blowing uh, air out uh, the vent to be able to tell that it's working but the dampers you know being up in the attic and all that not gonna be easy to tell that they're actually still functioning correctly um, and while this isn't necessarily the most perfect solution uh, being able to tell okay if it's fully if it's actually opening um, or if it's and it's shutting, I think is, is enough. Um, and then on the display, I've actually updated it so that uh, it shows um, the status of the dampers. And I'm actually reading. This isn't like I'm not faking it here. Um, in terms of like I was before, where I was just saying, oh, the dampers are closed because we're, or you know, a damper's open because I'm going to assume it's open because it should be. This is actually, any time it's showing uh, the status of the dampers, it's actually um, reading the state of the switch. So it'll actually, uh, it'll tell me if the dampers, uh, which damper is open, uh, if they're cl all closed or if they're all open. Um, so if I just switch it here. Now it takes a second because right now it's going into the uh, outside mode, so it's, it's opening the damper. So you'll notice that the, the display is updated in terms of the state that it's in. So it's saying it's it's in manual mode and it's exiting out, but the damper hasn't the display hasn't updated. It still says that they're all closed because it hasn't actuated the uh, the read switch yet, and that's exactly what I want because if I if it if too much time passes and it still says all dampers are closed, then I know something's wrong. Now the damper is open, so it's actually turned the fan on, damper's open, and you'll notice on the display here when it cycles back outside damper open. So, shut that off, put it back in 
automatic. So yeah, so that way I get uh, I get a um, an actual status of the read switches, and instead of delaying it for everything else, once it detects that the thing is open, that one of the dampers is open, then it will turn the fan on or it'll close the other one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, so and those are just um, I just use the same sheet of aluminum that I used for the um, for the uh, control panel there, and just attached it uh, to the side, used that threaded rod, squirted a bunch of, added the, soldered on the leads to the switch, squirted a bunch of hot glue in there, and then stuck the, uh, the reed switch inside. And yeah, so there you go. Uh, one other thing of note, I had before had the tra a transformer sitting here, uh, exact same copy of this one, um, for uh, basically using it to to simulate the uh, the heater coming on and off because it's it's a twenty four or twenty five volt transformer. Then, when I actually fiddled with the display and had it so it updates, um, it, I changed the way it updates. So basically, it's not using delays or anything. Um, and at one point, I uh, pulled the plug for the transformer to. to simulate that the uh, heater was off um, and the display locked up and it was really weird and then I you know couldn't figure out why it would do that I thought maybe something in the programming and then I played with it some more and I realized that if I if I powered cycled the uh, transformer quickly enough that I could basically it would almost basically lock the Arduino up now it's funny because it would still respond to the buttons manual buttons but the display wouldn't be uh, going on or, or, or wouldn't be cycling through like it should or anything so anyway so I think I after pulling my hair out for a while since last night I think I figured out that it was uh, an, an EMF issue um, so I've actually got this will actually be the uh, the input for the, uh, for the transformer but I've got it running down and it's actually across the room um, to keep the transformer away, and I think that solved it. So anyway, so yeah, so uh, something to watch out for.